In the previous video, we talked about the main differences between a spotlight search and a finder search. For this video, I want to talk about smart folders, which is a kind of finder search. So let's try it out. I'm going to take the shortcut command, which is option command spacebar. That opens up a finder window. It selects a search field, so we can start typing for anything that we're searching for. Now, before I work on this search, let me close the system preferences behind. Normally, when we perform a finder search, we just search for something. Let's say that BC Utilities. Once we find something, we just open it and we disregard the search. We disregard the search because we found what we were looking for. And that's about it. But the whole concept of smart folders goes beyond a search that gets tossed away. The concept of a smart folder is making a complex search criteria and then saving that for later. And for this, I'm going to make a couple of smart folders. One that will find images that were taken with my iPhone and another one that would show me images that were taken with my iPad. So I'm going to start my search. I'm going to go to the search field, click on it and type image. And down over here, we get a suggestions of what kind of images. So we can be looking for specifically JPEGs, TIFFs, PNGs, or for that matter, just generic images. When you select any of these suggestions, it actually provides a label and a modifier for that label. So right now it's searching for images. And over here, the scope is defined by whatever folder you were on. But if I go wider, if I go, for example, to this Mac, you're going to notice that the number of results is actually much, much larger. I have a lot of images on this Mac. And if you see on the right hand side, there's a save button. This save button is the one that will allow us to create a smart folder by saving the search criteria. But as I was saying before, I want to make a smart folder that will show me images that were taken with my iPhone. So let me add another modifier to my search by clicking on the little plus sign to the right of the save button. And if we pull down from here, there are a few presets that we can search for. But there's nothing that defines an iPhone or the device that was used to take a photo or to make an image. So I'm going to go and click on other to add another search criteria. And take a look at this very long list. It has a lot of different kinds of criteria. Things like attachments, color profile, color space, a really long list. So long that we actually have a search up here just to narrow down this list. So check this out. I'm going to go and search for devices. And here we can see that we can search for device make or device model. So the device make would be Apple for my iPhone. Or for example, if we wanted to search for a photo that was taken with a Canon camera or with a Nikon camera. But I want to focus on an iPhone. So I'm going to choose device model. And by choosing a search attribute, this would be added to the pull down menu. So I'm going to click on OK. And now we see that the device model now shows up as a modifier in here. Now I'm going to change the next pop-up menu from matches to contains. And I'm going to add the word iPhone. And as you can see, the list of results is much narrower. I'll show you where it's finding that it's an iPhone photo. I'll take a photo and just open it with preview. And from the tools, I'm going to show the inspector. And under TIFF, we can see that the model is an iPhone 4S. So I didn't specify what model of an iPhone, I'm just saying contains iPhone. So it can be a 4S or it could be a 6 or it could be any other model of iPhone. So that's how it's defining this search. And this is the point that we make it into a smart folder by clicking on the save button. So this will save the search criteria. Let me just give it a name. By default, it goes into the Save Searches folder, which is somewhat buried in your library folder on your account. And it also adds it to the sidebar. So when we save the search criteria, it creates a new smart folder. And regardless of where we are, just by clicking on the smart folder, we'll look around our Mac and it will find all of the images that we're taking with an iPhone. To wrap up, I'm going to show you a couple of things. One of them is that you can right click and add it to the dock. So now it's accessible from the dock. And the other one is that you can also right click and show the search criteria. And by showing the search criteria, we can see what exactly is happening. It's searching on this Mac, kind 
that is image and that the device model contains iPhone. 